We are tracking breaking news out of Texas where several members of a Lexington family have died. A fallen Jessamine County paramedic is honored in Washington, D.C. How his legacy will live on in our nation's capital. Exaggerator pulls off a win at the Preakness and the Nyquist Triple Crown bid. is WKYT News at 11. We are finally getting a break from all that rain. Thanks for staying up with WKYT. I'm Kristen Kennedy. The wet weather is on its way out, and we will get a chance to dry out tomorrow. We begin with WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell and the no wait weather forecast. Getting pretty quiet out there, finally, after dealing with the rounds of showers, even some thunder showers earlier today. Tonight, just the cloud cover basically is the only thing that remains. A few little spotty showers still holding steady across parts of eastern Kentucky. And that's it. It's 56 degrees right now in Lexington, 55 in Mount Sterling. Cooler air will continue to kind of ease into the region through the overnight hours. Here's an hour by hour look at our forecast through the overnight. You get into the early morning, and the model data is trying its best to just push the skies to clear up a lot, which they are, and it's also trying to get our temperatures down a little bit. Moisture content's a little bit high. It may keep our temperatures a little bit warmer, but upper 40s, low 50s, a safe area to be prepared for. And then into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, especially here in central Kentucky, we're going to be looking at sunshine, maybe a few clouds out there with highs in the low to mid 70s. Fantastic looking day for you. But the focus of the forecast is this is really just a brief dry spell coming at us. Nothing lasts forever. And I'll show you when forever comes to an end coming up in just a few minutes. We are tracking two breaking news alerts tonight. We start in East Texas. Police say four members of a Kentucky family visiting the state died in a crash. Crews rushed three others to the hospital. The pastor of the Clays Mill Baptist Church in Lexington tells us the family attended his church. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is at the live desk with the newest developments. Caitlin. Very sad reporting tonight that part of a Lexington family won't be returning home after a deadly accident in Texas. It happened on Highway 315 in Carthage, that's near Tyler, Texas. Reports say the family from Kentucky slowed while a car in front of them waited to make a left turn. But the SUV behind them didn't slow down. The CBS station in Texas reports the Lexington family driving this van was rear-ended and pushed into an oncoming tractor trailer. The crash killed four Kentuckians and has left other family members injured. The family goes to Clays Mill Road Baptist Church. The pastor says it was Israel Avilar and his three sons, Kevin, Daniel, and Matthew, that died. We're told Israel's mom and wife are at a hospital in Tyler, and his daughter is at a children's hospital. We talked to a reporter on scene earlier today who says it was chaotic and emotional. When I got on scene, what I initially saw was quite a mess uh, of an accident, probably the worst I've ever seen, um, several fatalities and several people injured, and uh, a lot of the vehicles that were involved, you couldn't really even make out what kind of vehicles they, they were before the accident happened. Now, Blake Holland from that radio station in Texas says the radio station's Facebook page is receiving an outpouring of support for the family here in Lexington. At the live desk, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. We are also tracking breaking news in Lexington. Police are investigating a serious crash that shut down part of Georgetown Road earlier tonight. The road just reopened. Police say someone on a motorcycle lost control at a guardrail and went over an embankment. Crews rushed him to UK Hospital. We do not know how he's doing. A crash reconstruction unit was out at the scene. A young mother in Jessamine County lost her life in a crash today. Jessamine County deputies say 20-year-old Coriana Blackford from Harrodsburg lost control on U.S. 68 near Wilmore around 9 this morning. Her car ended up hitting a tree. Blackford, we're told, died at the scene. We spoke to one of our friends tonight who wrote the following. Coriana left behind two amazing little boys. I still can't believe she is gone. She was a hardworking mother and would do anything for her little boys. Funeral arrangements are still pending. Neighbors of a mother shot and killed this week in Lexington want to help the family she's left behind. Lexington police found 43-year-old Amy Kogel dead yesterday morning 
in the backyard of her home on Pinckney Drive. Neighbors reported hearing nine shots fired around 3 Thursday morning. Police say Kogel's boyfriend, 45-year-old William Pomeroy, turned himself in and admitted to him that, they sh that he shot and killed her. He's charged with murder and tampering with physical evidence. The president of the Pine Meadows Neighborhood Association wants to help Kogel's three children. With the three young children, um, I think they possibly could need some financial assistance, so the neighborhood has discussed uh, trying to put that together, and as a group, we would like to help our neighbors. If you're interested in helping the family, Jordan says contact him. We have his email address on our website, WKYT.com. Friends and family of fallen paramedics were in the nation's capital today to honor their loved ones. One of those honored was Jessamine County paramedic John Mackey. Nicholasville police say back in November, the ambulance Mackey was in clipped a car. When he got out to check the ambulance, a driver hit him. Mackey's name was added to the National EMS Memorial Tree of Life. His family received a U.S. flag, a white rose, and a medallion. They committed themselves to a lifetime of service first, and then ultimately gave their lives ser serving others. Truly, there is no greater love. Mackey's wife, children, parents, and siblings were in Washington for the memorial. There will be no triple crown champion this year. Exaggerator handed Nyquist his first career loss. Lee K. Howard joins us now with a look at the results. You know, American Pharaoh made it look so easy a year ago, but today we are reminded that a triple crown is rare for a reason. Kentucky Derby winner Nyquist had the lead for most of the race and as the pack headed down the stretch, but this day belonged to Exaggerator. Ridden by Kent DeSormo, trained by his brother Keith, Exaggerator took charge at the 316th pole and outlasted the tiring Nyquist down the stretch. It was the first loss for Nyquist, who won the first eight races of his career. Cherrywine finished in second. Nyquist finished in third. A sloppy track and an impressive race there by Exaggerator. We will hear from the winning connections of Exaggerator coming up a little bit later in game time. Kristen. Lee K, thank you. A woman in Clark County is facing charges tonight. Deputies say she led an officer on an interstate chase. Court records show a deputy tried to pull 39-year-old Shawana Dotson over on I-64 for speeding. Instead, they say she sped up and started weaving in between other cars. When Dotson finally stopped, deputies say they smelled alcohol in her car and that she told them she was drinking in Lexington. Deputies in Wayne County just arrested two men, one for several burglaries. They caught Shane Savage and Timothy Brown after deputies say the pair broke into a home in the West Monticello subdivision yesterday. The homeowner followed their getaway car until the men jumped out. Deputies tracked them down and arrested them. Both faced multiple charges, including burglary and possession of burglary tools. A Lexington tattoo parlor is trying to replace what thieves stole. The owner of Charmed Life Tattoo says someone broke into the North Limestone shop and stole about $15,000 of equipment last week. To help replace some of that equipment, the shop is holding a benefit show tomorrow to raise money. I didn't want to do it outside of this specific neighborhood just to kind of show we're not going away. You, you didn't hurt us. Um, you just slowed us down for a day. The benefit is tomorrow at Owl's Bar. It starts at 1 p.m. Stanton Elementary in Powell County honored a late teacher's legacy. Joyce Hall passed away in March from complications from the flu. Today, the school held a yard sale called Rejoice. Proceeds from the sale will help pay to send kids to 4-H camp. As you can see, it's very crowded now. And it doesn't look like there's been much of a dent in it, but we have really gotten rid of a lot of stuff. But um, we have probably sent several truckloads out of here already. Any items not bought during today's sale are going to charitable organizations around town. Coming up on WKYT News at 11, gunfire for a good cause. Why reenactors are fighting for funds. At Frank Shoop, we use market-based pricing, which means we scan literally hundreds of other dealers' websites and then price our inventory below other stores. No inflated prices here. You get the best price right up front at Frank Shoop in Georgetown. 
I'm Amber Philpott with WKYT and the honorary chair of the American Diabetes Association Step Out Walk to Stop Diabetes. Join me and our 2016 Youth Ambassadors for this unforgettable event. Step Out is a fun, family-friendly walk dedicated to changing the future for Margaret, Sadie, Quincy, and the 500,000 Kentuckians living with diabetes. Register today for our walk or new 5K run on June 4th at Keeneland. Thank, Thank you for helping you us stop, stop diabetes. diabetes. Call now during the final two weeks of our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window. A new walk-in tub makes bathing safe and enjoyable with a low threshold and hydrotherapy. Plus, call now and you'll save up to 20% on your new walk-in tub. Ask about our zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. Act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase. You'll always be a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Folks from everywhere come here, not just from here in Winchester. And who wouldn't come here? With over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky. No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. Changing for good. Time Warner Cable. Well, there's a big name in cars that we all know. Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Shoop. Shop Frank Shoop in Georgetown for your next vehicle. Bring on the competition. Frank Shoop is going to set the pace. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And it has been a pretty active day for the most part out there with some of the showers and even a few thunder showers cruising through the area earlier. But tonight, as you see on our sky camp, things are pretty calm weather wise. No showers moving through Lexington. What we have is 56 degrees with humidity at a pretty high level, 84%. So that makes me also concerned that we don't see a drastic drop in temperatures during the overnight. We'll likely have uh, temperatures stay a little bit warmer than some of these models projected because we've got a lot of moisture in the air. And the higher the moisture content, the better off you are. It kind of stabilizes things. Now, what we do have is a disturbance that passed by and is still at least impacting our area to some degree. It's bringing in more of a northerly wind and it's also keeping some of the clouds around across parts of southern and eastern Kentucky at least. Now, this disturbance immediately behind it still has a few showers wrapping in. What will happen tomorrow as it continues to work its way away from us, we could run into a very small shower chance. Now, the best chance for this is highlighted across parts of eastern Kentucky. There you see a zone, a very small zone that likely gets in on a stray shower. This isn't even a big deal for you folks either. Just a very small chance to run into a shower too. We could see maybe some of the clouds try to uh, inch into our sky, so continue to inch closer and closer to us in central Kentucky. So we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. Here's the way that looks on the hour by hour run. There you see some of those 40s trying to work into the area. Into the daytime hours tomorrow, low and mid 70s with some of those clouds trying to stretch over. We're in the afternoon now. Watch the moisture increase, especially into West Virginia and into southeastern Kentucky hit and miss type situation for you folks. Not a big deal, not a washout at all. There you see the moisture continuing to drop through. So you might get a couple of isolated chances as we progress through the day. And then we get into your Monday. Rain chances will stay away from most of us, more so into parts of uh, West Virginia and also into Ohio. Here comes our seven day forecast. And it breaks it down a little bit better for you because not only are we talking about the rain chances and then drying up some, we also have a little more heat and perhaps more humidity trying to come uh, raging back into the area here as we get toward your Wednesday through about Saturday. Higher levels of humidity, more heat. That means when you walk outside, it may say 80 degrees on the thermometer in your car, but it's going to feel maybe more like 84 or 85. Heat index time, summer weather. 
going to feel like summer. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm good for about a week, and I'm like, let's go back. <laughs> Today, reenactors in Stamford staged the siege of 1777 at Logan's Fort, the site of one of Kentucky's three original settlements. Benjamin Logan built Logan's Fort in 1775. Two years later, Native Americans and British soldiers attacked it. The Logan's Fort Foundation has rebuilt part of the historic fort. They're raising money to finish what they hope will be an authentic replica. Um, it was also important to the American Revolution because the Indians were backed by um, the British Army and they did not want people settling in, in Kentucky, which was a county of Virginia at that time, and claiming land uh, because that meant that they couldn't have it for themselves. Project leaders say they need about $450,000 to complete it. Kentucky softball had a marathon of a day on the softball field. UK has highlights next in game time can be a breeding ground for crime. Buildings sitting empty. Vacancy is, is not a good thing. WKYT investigates the impact abandoned businesses have on the community. Vacant eyesores, Monday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. No matter the event or occasion, we've got the designers to help you perfect the look. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Folks from everywhere come here, not just from here in Winchester. And who wouldn't come here? With over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky. No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend to the public for our huge Memorial Day mattress sale. Get quality name brand mattresses at incredibly low prices. This weekend, get free delivery on most models and take advantage of huge discounts like this Ristonic Queen set for only $248. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. This is how easy it is to save time and money on auto maintenance. Done. I just text my local Ford dealer, and a few seconds later, I just save big time. It's that simple. Text TIRES to 91604. You'll get a special offer instantly that you can use on any vehicle. Now get up to $120 off the purchase of Ford tires and get a free alignment. Because your local Ford dealers just love happy customers. Text, connect, save. Only at your local Ford store. Monkey Joe's birthday parties are a fun, memorable way to ensure your party is a blast. Super fun for the kids and super easy for the parents. Monkey Joe's, will you party big? Play great. No matter the event or occasion, we've got the designers to help you perfect the look. Coming up on this soggy edition of WKYT Game Time, Nyquist puts his undefeated career and a chance at a triple crown on the line. We'll have the results of today's Preakness. The baseball cats need a win on senior day, we'll explain. And members of the 96 national championship team got together in Lexington, we'll hear from them. All that plus UK softball highlights coming up on WKYT Game Time. And good evening, everyone. After a 37-year drought, American Pharoah claimed horse racing's triple crown one year ago. With Nyquist win at this year's Kentucky Derby, an unblemished record, could we see back-to-back -back triple crown winners? One thing Nyquist had never done was win on a sloppy track. The favorite had the lead at the final turn. Larry Colmus takes it from there. And they're into the stretch, and it's Nyquist in front. His adversary exaggerator got a jump on him, and he's gone. Cherry wine were right together, and then it was loud on the 
Lani, followed by Stradivari, and the final time was 1 minute 58.31 seconds. It was Exaggerator's Day today. It was Exaggerator's Day. Nyquist suffers his first career defeat. Exaggerator had lost four times to Nyquist, but not today. The son of Curlin returns 720. Dell Romans trains Cherry Wine, who finished third. Stradivari was fourth. Here's the winning trainer, Keith DeSormo. You know, I think there was a conscious decision on a, and the training approach between the Derby and here. My philosophy was to take it as easy as possible because you're not going to gain any fitness uh, in those two weeks. So I did what I could to get him freshened and happy and strong. And I've always said he's a great, he, he's, he's always had a great ability to recover, and he showed it today. Kentucky softball needed 20 innings spread out over three games and almost 11 hours to advance to Sunday's NCAA regional final. At 11 a.m. this morning, Kentucky had to finish up the rain suspended game against Butler. We pick it up in the fifth. Now three to nothing UK. Two on for Jenny Shaper. That's a long single to the wall in center. Abby Cheek and Nikki Sager middle score. It's five nothing Wildcats. Same score in the sixth. Silver Samuel singles up the middle. That'll allow Christian Stokes to come home. 6 0 Kentucky. And the Wildcats would advance with a 6 1 win over Butler. Wildcats pitcher Megan Prince picks up her 20th win of the season. So that win over Butler setting up a meeting with Utah one hour later. The Utes got things going early. Top of the first. Denisa Urtez takes Kelsey Nunley's offering high and deep and gone over the right field fence. It was two to nothing Utah. Fast forward now to the seventh inning. Now three to nothing Wildcats with two outs. Tying run at the plate and Jenny Shaper strikes out swinging for the final out of the game. The Wildcats shut out three to nothing dropping into the losers bracket of the Lexington Regional. So that meant a short dinner break and then a win or go home meeting with Illinois tonight. Wildcats down two to one in the seventh. Katie Reed coming through with the two out single in center. Christian Stokes scores to tie it up at two. This game would go to extras in the eighth. Stokes doubles over the right fielder's head. The go ahead run will score for the Wildcats. They're up three to two. Kelsey Nunley closing it out in the eighth. Danielle Trezzo, that's a pop out for the final out of the game, and Kentucky advances to Sunday's region final with the 3 to 2 win. Wildcats will face Utah at 1 p.m. Sunday, needing two wins over the Utes to advance to the Super Regionals. A lot was riding on the final series of the regular season for the Kentucky baseball Wildcats. Gary Henderson's club needing a win over Missouri today to improve their record to 500 and boost their NCAA tournament resume. Kentucky and Missouri split the first two games of the series. Kyle Cody on the bump today, cruising early. Cody with four punch outs in the first two frames. Cats trailing one nothing in the third. Javon Shelby hits the bouncer to third. Throw to first is late. Evan White slides into third safely. Troy Squires had already scored. Game tied at one. Still in the third. Doc Harrison hits one sharply to the hole at short. The throw to first is wide. That's a base hit. Drives in Evan White. It was two to one. Wildcats. The Cats win it seven to two. Cody goes nine full. Strikes out nine. Cats finish 15 and 15 in the SEC. They will face Alabama on Tuesday in the SEC tournament. Kentucky football gets a commitment from a talented junior college transfer and five members of the 96 national championship team got together today. We hear from them next. WKYT's Game Time is brought to you by Frank Shoup, Chevy, Buick, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. And by Cardinal, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. At Frank Shoup, we use market-based pricing, which means we scan literally hundreds of other dealers' websites and then price our inventory below other stores. No inflated prices here. You get the best price right up front at Frank Shoup in Georgetown. Watch Kentucky Field Sundays on WKYT and CW Lexington. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend only for our big Memorial Day sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Sofa with pillows, two ninety seven. Twelve month interest free financing available. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. I used to feel anxious and confused about buying a major appliance. Turns out she suffered from FOBO. Until I found HH Greg. Then my fear of not getting the best price, it just disappeared. That's what we do. 
Get all the options you want during H.H. Gregg's Memorial Day Sale. Up to 35% off store-wide, plus zero interest until 2019, and free delivery, all with our low price guarantee. H.H. Gregg. Gregg's got it. I'm Amber Philpott with WKYT and the Honorary Chair of the American Diabetes Association Step Out Walk to Stop Diabetes. Join me and our 2016 Youth Ambassadors for this unforgettable event. Step Out is a fun, family-friendly walk dedicated to changing the future for Margaret, Sadie, Quincy, and the 500,000 Kentuckians living with diabetes. Register today for our walk or new 5K run on June 4th at Keeneland. Thank, Thank you for helping us stop, stop diabetes. diabetes. Watch Kentucky Afield, Sundays on WKYT and CW Lexington. The Boot Store is your work boot store. We have pull-on boots, lace-up boots, safety toe boots, waterproof boots, insulated boots, rubber boots, and electrical hazard boots. We have boots for the farmer, the rancher, the construction worker, the factory worker, the electrician, the plumber, and the boss. You will find an unmatched selection of work boots from Ariat, Justin, Thoroughgood, and Wolverine. We have the best selection of sizes and widths, and we know how to fit you. Get your boots at the Boot Store on Nicholasville Road. <laughs> Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Well, there's a big name in cars that we all know. Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Frank Shoop, Shoop. Shop Frank Shoop in Georgetown for your next vehicle. Bring on the competition. Frank Shoop is going to set the pace. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $203 million. Big Blue fans finally remember the great UK teams like the 78 national champs and the 2014 Cats under John Calipari. Same holds true for the 96 Wildcats, a team that this summer will gather in Miami for a 20-year reunion. Five members of that team got together today to sign autographs at a local RV dealer. Jeff Shepard, Cameron Mills, Jared Prickett, Derek Anderson, and Wayne Turner on hand. These guys say the 96 team is one of the best in UK history because of the camaraderie they shared. There was kind of this X factor that I'm sure a lot of teams have because I can't imagine a lot of teams hate each other, but we loved each other. I mean, we, you've got completely dis different personalities in here, guys from completely different backgrounds, different socioeconomic statuses. With us, you could lose your starting position in a practice just that quick. So if somebody like if, if Paget came out and played me in practice today, he would be starting the next day. So we, we came into practice every day just fighting to keep our starting spots. Always good to hear from those guys. After a pair of decommits this week, Kentucky football getting some good news today with the commitment of JUCO transfer Phil Hoskins. Hoskins, a defensive lineman from Highland Community College in Kansas, had 25 tackles and four sacks last season. Hoskins pictured there with recruiting coordinator Vince Marrow. Hoskins is a Toledo, Ohio native who had offers from Mississippi State, Iowa State, Baylor, and Houston, among others. Meanwhile, former Wildcat football great Wesley Woodyard was hosting his 16 Ways Foundation football camp at Bryan Station today. The rain forced the nearly 60 kids inside. Woodyard says that he's always embraced Lexington and its kids. Lexington was a second home to me. From day one, I was embracing the community, and, and I think it's very important that I continue to use my platform and, and bless this community the way that they bless me, and I love Lexington. So, you know, that's something that's going to be dear to my heart until the day I die. Close your eyes if you're a Reds fan. Seattle at Cincy today, the Great American Ballpark. Second inning, Leonis Martin drives this John Lamb offering into the bullpen. Down the right field line is seventh of the year, 1-0 Mariners. In the fourth, it's Frankie, Franklin Gutierrez. This bomb measured 473 feet. A three-run job. That's all the scoring there was in the day. Reds have lost six straight, 4 to nothing. the final. Third round of the PGA's Byron Nelson played today. We head to the links next on Game Time. You don't have to wait till Memorial Day weekend to get our best offers. Come to P-Rats Memorial Marathon now and save up to 50% off. With five years, zero interest and savings as good as a state sales tax break. Don't miss it. Nobody beats P-Rats. 
Call now during the final two weeks of our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window. A new walk-in tub makes bathing safe and enjoyable with a low threshold and hydrotherapy. Plus, call now and you'll save up to 20% on your new walk-in tub. Ask about our zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. Act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase. You'll always be a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. Our Move Some Metal in May sale is back at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. Now get 15% off MSRP on select new Sierras. Get a new GMC Terrain for $24,250. A new Canyon Crew Cab, just $34,745. Save $7,500 on a new GMC Acadia. Or save $7,600 on a new Sierra Crew Cab. Plus get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. We're out to Move Some Metal in May at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... Sid says sell them. Well, this new Sonic Lemonade's great, huh? Strawberry, blue raspberry. I can't believe they set that lemonade stand up right across the street. Who is? Oh, she saw me. Great. Why does that matter? Because I'm scoping out the competition for Sonic. Those cute little kids selling lemonade. What's oh, the big deal? Real cute until they take your lemonade stand by force. That was your lemonade stand? Yeah, feels like yesterday they did it. What did it happen? Yesterday. Iced or frozen, our ultimate lemonades can't be beat. Also, get half price shakes after 8 p.m. and a free slush when you download the new Sonic app. Come to P Ranch Memorial Marathon now and get our best memorial offers early. Like this blended leather reclining sofa and love seat. $14.99 and the matching recliners free. 55 inch LED TV, $4.29. Nobody beats P Ranch. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Jordan Spieth started today's third round of the Byron Nelson. One shot off the lead. A shot behind Ben Crane and in a four-way tie with Sergio Garcia, Bud Colley, and Brooks Kepka. At the third, Spieth's second shot on the par four. Knocks it down to within five feet of the hole to set up the birdie. Spieth moves to 12 under. Brooks Kepka recorded seven birdies on Saturday. Here's one of them at 14. Kepka looking strong as he knocks in the birdie, improving to 15 under. Kepka would finish at 16 under par. Spieth two shots back at 14 under. Raptors try not to get embarrassed at a third straight time in game three of the Eastern Conference Finals, hosting the Miami Heat. Second quarter, Raptors up six. DeMar DeRozan kicks it out to Patrick Patterson, who knocks down the corner three. Toronto was up by nine. Patterson finished with 10 points. Third quarter, DeMar DeRozan driving, hitting the floating jump shot. He had 32 points in the game. We go to the fourth quarter. Bismack Biombo on the receiving end of the lob. Biombo had seven points, but more impressively, he had 26 rebounds. And the Raptors hand the Cavaliers their first loss of the playoffs, 99 to 84. The final. The Cavaliers now trail, or Cavaliers now have a two to one series lead. That does it for this edition of Game Time. Good night, Kentucky.